Coming up on iPatch TV. The game show Wiley Wonders What premieres the very first time ever. On the Mic makes his debut this school year. And we learn more about the yearbook making process. All this and more on, on iPatch TV. TV. Welcome back, Pirates, to iPatch TV. I'm Nick Tran. And I'm Ben Goode. It sure feels great to be back in the studio, right, Nick? Of course. Although it's not just any studio, it's our new iPatch studio. Yeah, there's so many new features to our studio to make our broadcasts even better. We aren't the only ones to get something new. Here's Ethan Doria on new changes to Wiley High School. For the past three years, Wiley High School has underwent construction, and after years of work, it has finally been completed. Wiley High's part of the bond plan saw $87 million worth of construction and remodeling around the school, which helps the school adapt to the rising student enrollment. The new additions also help the school focus on its functional equity, the future growth of the school, and its safety through security. We spoke to Wiley High principal, Mr. Alexander, to find out more about the finished construction work on our school. We almost doubled the size of the building. Uh, we added about 40 new classrooms and areas and teacher centers to be in. Uh, for Sue, because we were shorthanded on the classrooms. Uh, we also added uh, what we call the Montgomery Center, which is a very, very nice state of gym and uh, performing arts facility um, that's equipped with sound equipment and it's equipped with everything you need for any kind of athletic event. This is the first time that we've had classrooms for every teacher. Um, so we were able to create classrooms for every, every teacher, which means every student is getting a, a room that's good for them. Uh, it means that we were also able to, with the center, be able to hold multiple events and different things that we couldn't hold in our auditorium. The added areas include new rooms and weight room in the impact, an extension to the tech theater room, an extension to the lunch room, and of course, a brand new building. The new building includes two floors of brand new classrooms, with the first floor consisting of art and history classrooms, and the second floor consisting of different flex rooms. But the most notable addition to the school is the brand new state-of-the-art basketball stadium, the Montgomery Center. This new stadium will now be the location of the school's volleyball and basketball games, and will also be where the pep rallies are held. With these new extensions and areas, Wiley High is able to account for the rapid increase in students with more space and classrooms. This school continues to grow and expand, and we can't wait to see what it does next. This is Ethan Dorio, reporting for iPatch TV. The Montgomery Center is definitely something else. You know, Ben, I actually heard that there's something going, has been going on in the halls of Wiley. Wait, more construction? Nope. We're almost done with the construction for now. What I meant to say is our own Noor Huck is here to kick off the new iPatch on the mic. Take it away, Noor. Welcome to iPatch on the Mic. I'm Noor Huck and I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get started. Please don't make me do this, Noor. I really don't What is your name? She refuses to comply, so we're going to move on. What are your thoughts on the Montgomery Center? Oh, it's nice. State-of-the-art center that provides a lot of uh, space for students and staff to enjoy the greatness of the Pirates. Bro, in there for the pep rally, man, that, that place was hopping, all right, man. I'm like a hype man for the band, so like, <laughs> find me, I'll be jumping up and down with the song, you know, yeah, like, like man, it was hopping. Um, it's very convenient, considering how many more students there are, and we've needed it for a long time. Tell me about your outfit. My outfit? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, that was what was in my closet. I had on tie-dye, but I got cold, so I put on a hoodie. Have you gotten lost yet? Yeah. Of course, but we're always found at the same time. Danielle, what are your thoughts on iPatch TV? I think it's really great. I get to film. Yeah. Does this fulfill your ego? This does fulfill my ego, and my ego is very big, so. How was school like for you last year? <laughs> <laughs> it's been actually pretty fun, but you know, like, yeah, seeing, yeah. You know, I'm gonna get all the stuff come like April, May, man, she's gonna be so fun by that point. I'm, I'm gonna have to two weeks early, bro. It was terrible. I failed like most of my classes, and then I got them up at like the end of the year, so. Who do you play as in, in Mario Kart? Princess Peach, because I'm basic. Or Yosho, Yoshi? Yoshi. 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 There's no other person to play. It's it's, Sora. Ba it's Bowser Jr. bust. Sora was in the game. I would play it. You know, Sora. Sora. Oh, was Sora. In the game. From Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I didn't follow. Wait, guys. are you in dress code? 
What? You're not in dress code. Well, it doesn't matter. Ms. B won't see this. Ms. B won't see this. Ms. B won't see this. Hi, what's your name? I'm Barry Toe. I'm sorry, it's time to go. Can't see my outfit, she can only see my face. Well, she just saw your shirt. Oh. Thanks for tuning in. This is Noor Huck on an iPad on the mic. Make sure to tune in next time. I thought Noor did a pretty good job. Yeah, she has some pretty good questions too. I wish she asked more about the yearbook. They don't get talked about as much as they do uh, for all the hard work they do. Well, that's why we sent Madison Butler and Noelle Miner down to the yearbook team to get a behind the scenes look at the yearbook making process. Now available for pre-order, the Wiley High yearbook, aka The Legend, holds a year's worth of memories. Inside are 220 pages, capturing students and the many activities at Wiley High. Throughout the entire year, the yearbook committee puts an effort preparing their work. They meet to discuss the yearbook's theme, layout, and overall appeal, and they also spend time capturing different events and activities to place into the book as well. With all of this thought and preparation, creating a yearbook is over a year-long process. With the goal in place, the yearbook committee works hard to make sure every student is included in the book, so when they look through the yearbook, they see themselves. Yearbook advisor Mr. Smith tells us about the memories that come with having a yearbook. The yearbook is where you keep your memories. Uh, so it's fun to kind of go back or you see your friends and you... Uh, you talk about friends and teachers from high school and, and you instantly grab your yearbook to, to go back and reflect on those times. And so it's just great for, um, you know, not for today, but for 10 years from now. Yearbooks are on sale from now until November 12th and are $65. Representing everything a school year is, a yearbook is the best way to remember the present in the future. Reporting for iPatch TV, this has been Madison Butler and Noelle Miner. Wow, I never knew how much work went into one of those yearbooks. They're even on sale right now until November 12th. It's pretty cool to get a behind the scenes look at the yearbook making process, and it allows the students to express their creativity. Okay, what's next? Uh, banana files in. Whoa! It says flies, genius. Well, where does banana come from, and why is it even here? Well, that banana can only mean one thing, potassium productions. Oh yeah, I remember them from last year. Did they just release a new installment to their new Banana High? Do you know what a lack of potassium does to a man? Cramping and pain. Now, I eat ungodly amounts of bananas. So much, in fact, that I became radioactive. Too much potassium, or maybe just enough. The potassium gave me incredible power. Then I realized the purpose of this power. I must bring the miracle of potassium power to the world. And what better way to expose people to large amounts of potassium than using my power to turn their buildings into giant bananas. Hello? Swallow me. We have some very bad news. What is it? Potassium is back. No! Not again. <laughs> Where's Caesar? And throw more how this? The best way I can describe it to you is that I know you can do this. Here, take this bottle. What is this? In the hands of a powerful wizard, any bottle or magical conduit may be may become a powerful blaster with which to fire at the opponent. But I haven't even learned that spell. But it will come to you in time, don't worry. May you use it wisely. May you be prepared. Dr. Davies, status report. I'm in the building, Lord Potassion. I'll plant the bacon shortly. Stop right there. Well, I mean, is that you, old chap? Do you plan to avenge your comrade? Of course. Let's get down to business then. <laughs> What's the matter, Swellamy? Lose your composure like you lose your comrades? You're dead to me! Oh heavens, it's tea time. Tea time? Well, let's do it! You know, it's a shame that we lost the Euro Cup to the Italians. It's just a silly game. A silly game?
You plan to defeat me with a wattle bottle? Pathetic. Good heavens! What magic is this? What have you done? Ugh. What has happened here? Dr. Davies? You fail me even with your upgrades. That is it. I declare war on this school, and you swell me. Be prepared. Wow. What will happen next? I know, right? Like, they really left us on the cliffhanger there. Man, if only I went to Banana High, that place looks crazy fun. Why go there when we already have a great school with fun activities like a new game show? Game show? What are you talking about? Yeah, our new iPatch team created a new show called Wiley Wonders What. Here's how it went. Hi folks, welcome to Wiley's first game show, Wiley Wonders What? Today's questions will be involving the history of Wiley. And our contestants for the teacher's side, we have Miss Rogers. I'm the dance drill team director here, and this is my 28th year, and I am the most tenured faculty member on campus. Excellent. And for our student side, we have Kathleen. Hi, I'm a Wiley High senior, and I can make party noises with my hands. <laughs> nice. The game will work like this. We have two whiteboards for each contestant. I will ask the question given multiple choices, and they will have to write down the correct answer and show it to the camera. We will keep score. For our first question, we have, when was Wiley High established? Was it A, 420 BC, B, 1905, C, 2001, or D, 1969? Go ahead and show them. And you are both correct. It was B, 1905. Are you guys ready for the second question? Sure. Excellent. What year was the first Wiley Way Day? Is it A, 2010, B, 2011, C, 2013, or D, 2009? Excellent. Let's see them. C and C. You are both correct. All right, we are still neck and neck. For the third question, we have... When was the first Wiley Way Day award given? A, 2012, B, 2004, C, 1999, or D, 1 AD? All right. And, oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like a good, okay. <laughs> All right, and let's reveal them. We got A and B. And Miss Rogers gets the point. It was A, 2012. I'm sorry, Kathleen. Now, thanks to that question, Miss Rogers is in the lead. So, here's our next question. Danielle, why don't you go ahead and come on up here? Is Danielle in dress code? Ready, set, show. No, no, I'm afraid you're both wrong. Danielle is in dress code. I am in dress code. Currently. Rips do not show any skin. And I'm wearing a turtleneck <laughs> under the t-shirt. All right, that concludes our episode of Wiley Wonders What. It is in the favor of Miss Rogers, so that means teachers have won this episode. We'll see you next week, folks. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. I wonder if by the end of the year, the teachers or students will be, on, will be on top. My bet's on the students. You know, I think the teachers will win. We can agree to disagree. I will say, though, a game show is one heck of a way to end an episode. Yeah, but I have a ton of homework. These deadlines are getting tighter and tighter. I have no idea if I'll be able to finish 50 math problems and write a seven page essay all by tonight. I know, right? Like, I have to do a crossword puzzle. A crossword puzzle. That is way too much work for me. Uh-huh. How about before I work on this and you work on whatever that is. We finish up the episode. Fine by me. My name is Benjamin Goode. And I'm Nick Tran. Thank you all so much for watching. iPatch TV. TV.